Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So tonight I have an urgent message for the Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that do not, okay? This message here is for a very, very special Divine Feminine. The downloads that I was receiving for this message were super duper focused on a Divine Feminine who is very, very loved and also very, very protected. You are someone that your ancestry, your spiritual team really, really adores. So you have so much support not only in the spiritual realm, but there's people in your immediate environment who love you dearly. Even if they have never opened up and really explained the depths of their love for you and how they really view you, you are someone who is really kind of pedestalized in a way. And it's for your spirit. It's for this light that you have over your life. You're at this place in your life where you're being ushered into brand new territory. You may feel a lot of pressure. You may feel a lot of anticipation pulling on you from every which and way, from different people, from your career, from your family. It almost feels like you may be sinking a little bit. But if you were to see what's happening to your life on an energetic level, you would be completely shocked. You're being led somewhere, Divine Feminine. And I keep getting this image of keys. Now, when we look at what keys represent spiritually, this is all about access. It gives you access to different dimensions, different portals. It's almost like a rite of passage or a sort of initiation because it's almost like the divine is giving you access to open a very specific door, a door that has your name on it. And when we look at this in the tangible sense, when it comes to the physical reality, keys open new homes, it opens cars, businesses. So it's almost as if your guides are leading you to a totally different dimension. But like any new territory, to you, Divine Feminine, it may feel like you're stepping out into darkness. But what's different about this time and this journey that you're being guided on is that you're not afraid. I'm actually getting that you're tired. You're tired of repeating the same steps. You're tired of learning the same lessons, of meeting the same people, places, and things in different forms. So there's a sense of power, there's a sense of determination that's coming through in your aura that's actually guiding you forward. And it's actually helping your spiritual team to lead you because you're on the same vibration. Something about your relationship with fear is changing. And the things that used to make you shrink are all of a sudden beginning to make you rise. It's almost like you know that you're in good hands consciously or subconsciously, and you're in this deep state of surrender where you have allowed the Most High to lead you into this next chapter. I'm also getting that for a very long time, there was this energy of stagnancy around you, but this wasn't from your own internal process. So this could have been tied to the company you were keeping, your friends, your lover, your family, and before you knew it, the energy, their energy began to transfer over into your psyche. So the echo of their thoughts, their worries, their doubts, and their fears begin to take place and begin to stifle your faith. But you're not that type of person, okay? There's something very fearless, very sovereign, and very bold coming through in your energy. You easily stand out amongst the crowd. So this could have been a painful place for you to be in. Because the way your energy is coming through, you are a leader. You have always been someone who looked inside of yourself before ever checking to see who was in agreement. And while you were going through this stage in your life, there was love all around you. There's people in your immediate environment 
who are waiting for you to bounce back, especially your spiritual team. The beautiful thing about having this overarching energy of the most high over your life and being loved and being protected is that you always have divine guidance around you. Oftentimes, your spiritual team is just waiting for you to invite them in, waiting for you to ask for their help, or even waiting for you to admit that you need help. And I don't know what it is that transpired in the past. I don't know if this had to do with the company that you were keeping. You reached a chapter in your life where that may have been hard for you. And it's because your energy is coming through as someone who has been through a lot on your journey. You also carry the energy of a master manifester. You know how to create things with your words. You know how to go in and work on yourself and raise your energy. But it's almost as if during this time, your guides were trying to bring to your attention that when you have this power of creation, you have to be very careful what you ask for because it's not that you just might get it. What's coming through clearly is that you always get it. You always get exactly what your vibration is emitting. You always get what you're thinking about. You always get whatever currency or whatever vibration that you are currently on in your reality. Whether this be something that's of value and is high vibrational, or on the other hand, if this is something that you have manifested from a lower vibrational state or from a place of lack. And this is why your spiritual team has been trying to get your attention because things in your reality are shifting. Some of you may feel like you're under a lot of pressure or as if things that used to flow and feel effortless are becoming tedious, complicated, or even hard for you. And your guides have been sending you signs to let you know that you're going through another rebirth, Divine Feminine. And I say another because this feminine that I'm tapping into, you're not new to this. This is why you're standing where you are in your life right now, totally fearless, because you know with everything in you that you are protected and that the only time you've ever really felt resistance is when something needed to change, whether this be internal or external. And if you're resonating with this message so far, this could be pointing to many different things. But I'm getting that it may be one specific area in your life that you're being guided to reevaluate and to do it from a place of love. I also keep getting higher self. So you may notice very powerful or very symbolic dreams. For some of you, your energy may be so sensitive to what's happening in your life, what's happening to you spiritually, that you may be hearing very high pitch frequencies in your ear. And you know that this is a spiritual message because you know that it's not anything medical. It's almost like a call, a spiritual call that you're being guided to answer from your higher self to expand your self-concept and your current reality. But the number one thing that your guides want you to know at this time is anytime you're being guided into a shift, it's because your higher self is ready to create something. And it's usually something that's going to open your world up to a new level of abundance, a new level of love, and a new level of opportunity. And what's so beautiful about this energy I'm tapping into is that you are ready, Divine Feminine. So if you're feeling a little tired, a little exhausted, or just stagnant, when you look at this from a higher perspective, you're doing powerful energetic work. It's almost as if every single day, you're mustering up this energy and you're breathing life into this higher version of yourself. You are literally transitioning from one state of being to the next. And this is a very tedious process. So be gentle with yourself at this time. This is also a time for you to remember that you are deeply loved by the most high, by the universe, by the people in your life. Okay, I don't know who this message is for, but... There's something about your heart chakra here where I can see it just radiating or just glowing. There's so much love around you. And it's very important for you to remember that at this time. That could be the key to helping you navigate this next journey. This may even be an affirmation that you want to speak over your life at this stage because you have no idea how much you are loved and supported in this very moment and for all of your days. And your ability to really stand in this truth, in this inner knowing, 
is really going to help you to be able to move mountains, okay? You may even be seeing the number 333 at this time. And this is showing up for you because you are co-creating. This is a very sacred time where your desires and the dreams that you have deep inside of your heart meets divine timing. And your ability to hold this vibration is what's going to help you to unlock these doors that are in front of you, these things that you once thought were impossible, these opportunities that maybe were out of alignment for you in the past. Every single thing that you went through has everything to do with where you are vibrationally on the inside. It's not about how it appears in your reality because every single thing that's in your heart was put there by the Most High. There's a reason why you're at this place where you're tired. There's a reason why you're at this place where you're desiring more. All it took was for you to claim what it is that's really been sitting on your heart for this long. And now you're being given this access where all of these things that seem completely out of your reach are beginning to take form in the most supernatural way if you allow it to. So if you're at this place in your life where you know that you're being called to shift, it's okay for you to let go of what you've been clinging to. Because sometimes God will actually make things so uncomfortable for you that you will have to say, you know what, I'm, I'm done with it. I have to let it go. Because subconsciously you know that the longer you hold on to something, you don't have any room to accept anything else. So the fact that you are being offered this key lets me know that your hands are open, that your heart is open. You're ready to step into this next level. This is for a divine feminine that knows you are protected. You have no doubt about it. You know that you're loved. You know that you're highly favored. You know that you're here to do something powerful. You also know that you're here to live your life in a specific way. So I don't know what you've seen on your journey or the type of things that you've encountered, but I'm getting that the hard part is over and that some of your best days are ahead of you. All you're being asked to do at this stage of your life is to continue to face forward and to trust that all of the guidance that you're receiving is coming from a higher power, a very loving, benevolent higher power who wants to not only do life with you, but guide you and protect you from people, places, and things that you may not be able to see clearly. So you're stepping into a deep transformation and it may not be easy, but it will be worth it. And the fact that you're being led by your higher self just proves that there is so much love and abundance waiting for you on the other side. And speaking of abundance, I'm also getting this image of a gift. So this could be an actual spiritual gift that will be enhanced in some way, or this could be something tangible. It literally feels like you're in this place where there's so much support around you that you're going to literally receive tangible evidence of how much love and support is around you. And also proof that you are on the right path, especially in these moments where you may doubt yourself. Especially in these moments where it gets so lonely on this path that you feel like you wanna check what's going on by way of measuring yourself against your external reality. It's almost like the divine is gonna step in, your spiritual team is gonna step in and provide this reassurance for you. So definitely keep an eye out for that. And also remember that the signs, the synchronicities, the gifts, you know, all of the beautiful things that come down into this reality from the spiritual realm only magnify when you have faith and when you believe that they are true, that they are real, and that they are specific to you. And this may vary from person to person, but when you receive your divine guidance, always know that it will be marked. It will have your name on it. You will never have to second guess if a sign is for you because your spiritual team knows you. Your higher self knows you. The way that you think, the way that you look at the world, the way that you analyze things or overanalyze things. I know for me, when I reach these moments of when I'm seeking divine guidance and I receive a sign that may be a little bit iffy, you know, I'll put out a request to the Most High to send me a sign 
in a way that I will not be able to question. Understand that you have this relationship with the Most High. This is an energy that lives within you and knows you better than anybody else in this world knows you. So this is a time in your life to get very, very personal because these gifts, this key, this access, this rite of passage is something that's going to unlock a lot of abundance for you, a lot of love for you, a lot of support. And the only thing you're being asked to do right now is continue to breathe life into your highest version. And if you're resonating with this message, if you're still listening, I keep getting fearless. So clearly you're already in a state of surrender to the divine. Maybe I'm just here to send you confirmation from your spiritual team. So if you happen to make it this far in the message, know that you are blessed. Know that you are loved. Know that all of these intentions that you hold in your heart space are coming to fruition. All of the work that you've done on your journey is not in vain. All of these lessons that you learned, these cycles that you had to continue to heal through, for a lot of you, you are the leaders. A lot of you have been chosen to do things that have never been done before. That's why you feel that your journey is hard or strenuous. But the rewards that you're going to receive are going to push you so far. And it's not only going to help you expand and to heal and to up-level your own life, but you're going to even be able to reach back and to help those that are looking at you as an example in some kind of way. So this is really a time to nourish yourself. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Make sure you're meditating. You know, make sure you go out into nature and receive these downloads that the universe is trying to give you because you're currently being transformed and shaped and molded into a higher version. And it takes time. It's almost like this temperance energy where you're blending the spiritual and the physical. And it's going to happen at the perfect time. So no matter how things may appear in your physical reality right now, if you feel like you're receiving tests, Understand that the Most High only tests you when you are about to be upgraded and when you are about to be changed into a version that is literally unrecognizable, okay? For a lot of you, you're going to have to reintroduce yourself to your world, to your family, to your lovers, to your friends, because you are becoming such a powerful, high vibrational being one day at a time. So be very patient with your process so that these upgrades can unfold in the best way possible for you, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here. I hope this message finds the divine feminine that it was intended for. If you resonated with this message, please be sure to hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.